All right, hard to believe June is right around the corner and yeah. with it hurricane season forecasters are making an effort to predict how many storms will form. NOAA released its hurricane season forecast today. Meteorologist Rich Rogers is here to break it down for you. Good evening, Paige and Chris. Yeah, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, they released their last forecast before the season officially begins on Monday, including Tropical Storm Anna, which formed earlier this month and made landfall at Myrtle Beach. NOAA forecasters are expecting a total of 6 to 11 tropical storms this year. Those storms have winds of between 39 and 73 miles per hour. Of those storms, 3 to 6 are expected to reach hurricane status with winds of at least 74 miles per hour. And out of those hurricanes, NOAA expects up to to two of them to become major hurricanes, which means they will attain at least a Category 3 status on the Saffir Simpson scale. Overall, this forecast represents an expectation of a quieter than average Atlantic hurricane season. As a reminder, the Saffir Simpson scale ranks hurricanes based on the wind they produce, but even a weaker Category 1 storm can produce devastation in the form of flooding and tornadoes given the right conditions. What we don't know is how many storms will make landfall, and we don't know where they will occur. Remember, this is just one of many forecasts for the upcoming season. Regardless of how many storms are predicted, it only takes one storm to produce catastrophic damage. The quiet season of 1992 brought the last Category 5 to make landfall in the U.S., and that was Hurricane Andrew. Here for you, I'm meteorologist Rich Rogers. Rich, thanks.